Ciao a tutti ragazzi, in today's video I'm gonna show you how we can use a PS4 controller ragazzi to emulate the Wiimote and the Nunchuck on the Dolphin Wii emulator. See you on my desktop. Alright ragazzi, as my desktop right now, the first thing we're gonna need to do, we're gonna pair a PS4 controller to a PC. Able to do this, place in button, share button at the same time. Press. When it flickers like this ragazzi, navigate it down here, go to Bluetooth, you go to more, Bluetooth settings, Add device and select Bluetooth. This wireless controller is gonna pop up, ragazzi. Click on it once and it's gonna be wireless controller connected. It's gonna show in green and it's gonna say here's where wireless controller connected. Click on done and go outside. Now you're gonna have to Steam. Open Steam. Once Steam had opened, ragazzi, I want you to go to big picture mode. In big picture mode, ragazzi, just try to navigate it like I do. If it does if you can navigate with your PS4 controller, then most work are done. The last thing I want you to do, play just any game, free game, whatever game you have on your Steam library. Just for like 5-6 seconds and uh, go out. And you do what I do, I power off, exit Steam and confirm. This is, the, with this process ragazzi, you're gonna get some extra information for your controller. It's like a driver's. With this out of the way, we can now finally go and map the Dolphin emulator. We go to a Dolphin Emulator Ragazzi controller. We go down here, select Emulate with Wii Bluetooth Adapter. You select Emulate Wii Remote. You're gonna go for Continuous Scan and Background Input. With this done, we're gonna Configuration. All right, Ragazzi. Once inside the here, I want you to click on Clear, and then once on the default. From there, we're gonna go to here. We're gonna select SDL Zero PS4 controller. Once done with this, uh, we're gonna go to motion input. And uh, if you move your controller like this, uh, and those two move, this one and this, and the motion sensor is on point. From there, we're gonna back uh, to general option. We're gonna start to map the buttons. Now for A, we're pressing the X and the PS4 control. For the B, we're pressing the four triangle thing. For the one, uh, we press the left trigger inside and for the two we press the right trigger inside the minus we press the share button and for the plus we press the option button for home we press the touchpad we're done with the buttons now we go to t-pad t-pad is easy up on the t-pad you go up on the playstation 4 d-pad down we're going to down left we're going to left and right we're going to go right this is done too now we're going to go to the non-check configuration extension now here we're going to use the left trigger and uh, you're going slowly up move slowly down slowly to the left slowly to the right so once it's done here, we have those button left, the C and the Z. For the C, use the L2 button on the PlayStation 4 controller. And for the Z, the R2 on the PlayStation 4 controller. Once it is done, you're going to back here to motion sensor and go now to input here. In the motion sensor, we're going to take the Y and we're going to press the L1 for the Y and we're done here. We're going to double check. Everything works on the motion sensor extension. We don't need this. We go into extension motion simulation. Now here I wanted to choose uh, the first one X, and I want you to press the R1 on the PlayStation One controller. Once done with this, check in here, and we actually done. Ragazzi, we're going to profile. I'm going to name it Emu, and then save. Closer here, closer here. Now don't click out of the video because I need to explain what button is for what. I'm going to start uh, the game. I'm going to move a little bit. Take my mic with me so you don't. See you see how it works. Now I click the X here. You not just keep the PlayStation controller like this. Let's see. Oh, oh did I? There it is. Uh, you see? Ragazzi, see? Clicking on it. Oops, because on my PC, it's uh, it's not showable. We're clicking on A, and we're inside the menu, and you see my C, Ragazzi. Works like a charmer. Clicking on it, we go on there. Now I'm gonna just explain you some buttons, how, to, how you're gonna use them. The left one is normal for moving. If you press on the A, you're gonna run crazy. Now if you're pressing on the, those are self extraordinary just you need to figure it out. This one here, the L1, it's just gonna do the steps, you feel me ragazzi? So if you run uh, and you press on it, you don't have to shake it, you just do this jump move. And now the R1, if you trick, if you press on it ragazzi, nothing happens. But when you come to the game where you need to run uh, and do the rolling, you need actually to shake it to run, uh, to roll. But if you press the L1, uh, he gonna actually do the rolling. Um, instead of shaking, you just run with the A, with the A yeah, you, you press and X, you run it. And then you press in the L1, you're gonna do the rolling. And one more thing important for this one, in case you wanna do it, is this, uh, uh, what they call it? Uh, you know, when he charges and do the spin. So actually, 
you see that works too ragazzi and now if you press this one here and do you see this is how you do the spin when these are set uh, ragazzi you, you you see this look this everything everything works fine whatever you want to do it works you want to trick this you want to press the touch button and you can many way to do whatever you want with this i'll say ragazzi i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and but else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emofanemo gaming hey and i'm freaking out for you peace